bring it to the church of Corinth. Now when you know the problem of the church of Corinth, they were upset with God because they were more they were they were wanting to keep more than the relationship. And they got called just like I want these gifts like everybody else. So you want I want to tell you this story about as a pastor, I can't allow uh, where I reside that we turn in, because that's why the Bible was written. It's written for us so that we don't make the mistakes of the bad church. Amen? The church of Corinth. A blessed, thriving church. And look what they got called up in. Amen? I want you to think about this. And just for preaching thought, do you value relationships? Do you value relationships? Because it's kind of interesting when you stop and you think about this as this all comes together. Uh, I walked in this morning and the song was playing and I've been humming all week. And I think when Jess and I talked about it Tuesday when he called me and said about, and talked about by, uh, Bishop Paul Morton Sr., uh, whatever you do, don't do it without me. Yeah. Lord, you can let you can come on back to whatever you do, just don't do it without me. You know, bring me along because I, I, I want to be a part of this journey. I want to be a part of this journey. Jump, don't do it without me. One of the things that's really been coming out is how did the how did the elders, the leaders, the, the people in the church, how did they get off mark? What happened, Corinth? And you know, you you had and we talked about it. We spent the next three weeks in talking about the church of Corinth and what was happening, so we can get our bearings and things right. Pastors and leaders in the church must realize that it all begins with relationships. Pastors and leaders in the church must realize that it all begins with relationships. What a powerful question. And Paul said, follow me as I also follow Christ. So when the lady going to ask you, you get out of here. And it begins with, what is different? What was Isaiah? They've been in and out of church. That's what they do. What was different here? They heard a preach message. I'm not going to say the fullness of preaching is what they come on. It was the combination of all. The love. The spirit. And, and I talked to some of the men. We, we felt love. We felt the love there. I mean, it's amazing how what those you just never know what folks are looking for. These are downtrodden folk. They, they have gone through. Well, Pastors and leaders in the church must realize that it all begins with relationships. For if the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body also in Christ. For by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and have been made to drink into one spirit. I'm going to tell this story in the five sections here. I, I got excited got all my excitement out. So now I'm going to tell this story because you need to change from inside out. The first one, 12 and 13, unified in one body, baptized by one spirit. Stop all of them. Unified, by, unified in one body slash baptized by one spirit. Three things out of that. Number one, seek oneness in Christ, not division. See, there goes even folks that just don't that you don't like, you don't jive with, but that's not why you brought to the body of believers. So seek, come on now, seek one, seek. Come on now, you got to seek oneness. In Christ and not division. Because there are some folk that will get on your nerve before they don't like the way they work, before they don't like the way they talk. I get all of that. I've been passing long enough. But that's not your job. Because the body belongs to Christ and he brings to the body who he sees fit, whether you like it or not. So I'm trying to get you somewhere. Number two, they're going to be long. Number two, there is already a head of the church, Christ. It don't belong to you. Quit trying to be the head because this is just this is just the form of a body of believer. But Christ is the head. Amen. Number three, and that's hard. I just read it to you. Now, number three, have you received the Holy Spirit yet? Now, one thing I'm starting to realize: the reason why we're messed up, and the lady asked you, I got a question, because there's a lot of folks that belong to a church, but they don't belong to Christ. Oh, they belong. They brag on the church. Thank you. 
I need to belong to Christ. Mm, come on now. We're going to call it help me out. 14 through 18. If I'm going to change my voice, read for, I'm going to tell you the story. I told you it's easy, so you better write it down because you need to check yourself. I'm already there. I understand that. You need to check yourself. 14 through 18. For, the, for in fact, the body is not one member but, mem but men. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? The whole body were an eye, where would be the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would be the smell? But now, God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. I'm going to try to get you somewhere because I struggled two, three years. 14 to 18. God can handle his people well. He does not need us getting in his way. <laughs> Come on now. God can handle his people well. If you got an issue with somebody, turn them over to the Lord. Come on now. I, I, too many times I try to step in. If you have a problem with deacon, the preacher, the pastor, the brother, the sister, if you have a problem with somebody in the body, I keep it real. Then turn Don't get it, but 
listen, the black people borrow stuff because you know people are not going to give it back to you. They might tear up the vehicle. They might tear up the lawnmower. So get come, brother. So no, so he's saying, if you can't do it out, then don't get it. Yeah. Isn't that strange how y'all and then get mad? And God trying to keep up. Come on, brother. Over your spiritual path. 19 through 24, we almost done. I told you, I got signed early. Now I'm coming. 19 through 24, because read those when you need your knees. I got to figure out where you are in the body of believers. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? As, but now, indeed, there are many members, yet one body. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. Nor again, the head to the feet, I have no need of you. No, much rather those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, on these we bestow greater honor. And our unpresentable parts have greater modesty. But our presentable parts have no need. But God composed the body, having given greater honor to that part which lacks it. Aren't you glad God did the plan and not us? Because, brother, yeah. when I agree this, man, we leave some up for God. I don't need you. I don't, come on, brother. I don't, I don't like, come on. It's crazy, but I'm so glad that God divine, come on, the, come on, made this plan yeah. while we were over here plotting. Yeah. Uh, 19 through 24, we need each other's callings and gifts. Brother, don't you ever think you're solos. We need each other's callings and gifts. Brothers, we need it. I, I, I told you that early on. That's where I got that from. I'm going to beg you. I need you. See, if you need you, I want you to show up Wednesday for the train and show up. Guess what I learned? He'll take the remedy. Isn't it amazing how God will take the remedy? God will take just a few and turn a city upside down. So that's what he tell you. You don't beg for You don't need it. Let them do what they got to do because I know what I'm doing. So I need y'all to
committed folk that'll do what God called them to do. Even when folk don't return the favor. Number two, even Jesus Christ, ain't that wild? Even Jesus Christ, short life on earth, 33 years and a half, depending on his family and disciples. And if Jesus had depended on folk, how dare you think you can do it by yourself? Come on now, 33 and a half years, the great Jesus, depending on, say, come on now, he's still away. You can tell him, say, sometimes he go by himself. There's a time you got to go by yourself, but then he come down and begin his three confidants. You do know who they are, Peter, James, and John, and he will share his divine plan of what God that laid on him. Everybody, you can't share your divine plan. If Jesus only had 12, how do you think you will have a thousand? Your problem is you, you look at your life and this life and you get the fan club and you got the wrong fan club. Okay. Jesus, you. Jesus only had 12 and he turned the world upside down. And of the 12, you better get it right, three confidants. Right. All you wonder is how I ain't getting no friends. Uh -uh. You better be thinking you got some real friends. Hey, friends, come on, man. Gonna kill you. Even you don't want to hear it. <laughs> and the last part of 19 to 24, we must stop trying to make others feel less than. Most of the time, your more faithful people in prayer and service do not even hold an official position in life. That you can't stay. See, some folk, that's why James said, be careful. You got to read scripture. But folk that come, some folk are be careful running and jumping and getting out there before God done put you out there. Come on now. So I know her. I don't get caught up in time. I very rarely tell folk I'm pastor. Not because I'm ashamed, but I don't see how they look. Huh? She can just say you're the pastor. Folk look at you different. I'm just a man of God. They said, oh, you that pastor with that funny voice. God said, oh, no, no. I heard you on here. So she can be ashamed. See, some of you caught up in your kind of your position. Uh -huh. See, I'm always walking because, first of all, I'm a man of God. You're a man of God. You're a woman of God who just happened to be a deacon, who just happened to be the first, who just happened to be a trustee, who just happened to be there. But that's not who made you. Amen. What kind of position ever made you? Come on, Come on now. <laughs> and I'm glad <laughs> that my official position does not make me a committed warrior for God. Amen. 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 I didn't need to be a preacher or he can tell folk I love the Lord. Well, come on now. Because <laughs> he loved on me when I was 12. Little smiling old bad boy doing what he wanted to do. And he was still loving on me. 25 and 26. You hear walk out of here. 25 and 26. Go on, collect me. That there should be no schism in the Bible, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Hot. Tell the story. Hot. You're getting ready to change it. I know the stuff started moving around. That stuff started shaking. And some folks have I've been in the position all my life. And some folks want to act like they want to give it up. But they really don't want to give it up. And I've got to be careful because I don't want to crush you by the Spirit. So guess what I'm learning? I'm learning to sit back and listen to God. And so when Deacon May come, I pray for Deacon May. Lord, show me how. He's been doing it for a while. Is it time? Wait on God. I get the Deacon Johnson. He's been doing it for a while. So Lord, show me. In the time I, I've had my private conversation, Deacon done. I look around and all my deacons are ladies. I got Perry and a couple, and I got the real house. Lord, show me some young folks that can come in and, and stay the tap the time like these deacons have. I need them to sit back and enjoy the fruits of their labor. So I'm talking to God. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to God. He'll sit. Oh, you know what I'm 
mean, because what we talked about, she's never with me praying with me, talking to me, no big eyes, and no little use. That's what 25 and 26 were talking about. Three things to keep you from being a big eye and a little you. Number one, do you really watch out for one another in the body? Don't tell me that you're watching out for me, and every time I call on you, you're not there. You think it's time I watch a watchman looking out, looking around, making sure I'm an armor bearer. Are you watching out for those in the body? Number two, do you really encourage one another in the body? I know there's enough negativity. I know there's enough folk talking out there, but I need some folk in the body that are some great encouragers in some difficult times. It's tough being a pastor. It's tough being a minister. It's tough being in the leadership role when you when you're volunteering and you're not getting paid. Come on now. So I gotta trust God that He's gonna send me some great encouragement for the body of Centennial. And number three, do you really have love for one another in the body? Uh, uh, well. The greatest that you gotta have is love in the body for one another. Not your kind of love, but his love. And a agape love with no strings attached. When they hurt you, when they talk about you, you still got to love them. That's the kind of love I'm talking about. You can't understand it because it ain't about you. It's about God using you for his kingdom. Come on, call that dear. Let's go home. I done told you the story, 27 through 31. Three more points and we're out of here. 27 through 31. You got five, four things so far. You're going to get the fifth thing. Because I'm telling you, God getting ready to do an explosion. He getting ready to do an extreme makeover. He getting ready to revive the church. And we need to be able to be in position to receive it. 27 through 31. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. And God has appointed these in the church, first apostles, second prophets, and third teachers. After that, miracles, the gifts of healing, helps, administration, variety of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Do you have all, do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? But earnestly desire the best gifts. And yet, I show you a more excellent way. Hush your mouth. Don't become sentient. I gotta say this a leader. I can't allow sentient to come like the Corinthian church. And this is what it's all about. Everything I said came down to 27 through 31. Don't let your gifts become more important than the relationships. They fought for gifts. They wanted more gifts. They were going to God. I want more gifts. I want more people. I want more of this. I want more of this. And you forget about the relationship. Don't you know the relationship will grow the church? The relationship will bring the money. The re all y'all ain't here. It's about the relationship that will change. That's what I want her. when you walk out there. So what's this about your church that you attend? Our relationships. The way we love each other, the way we encourage, I'll give it to you. So when you walk out of here, and you walk out of here on Saturday, you tell what is it about sin We got to love for one another. We encourage one another. Come on now. We watch out for one another. And look what he said. I need to stop now and give you three things that we walk out of here. What is your main focus in the body? Well, see, brother, some, I'm going to correct. Say they sent to you. Some folks just come with spare stuff. And the pastor never bring it to me. I gotta be careful. Because I receive it. Oh, what do you do? Be careful. Because they want to pack it to you. It's packing it back somewhere else, too. So I gotta be very careful. What is your main focus in the body? Number two. Ah, oh, he made the point. Have you been appointed by God? Oh, man. Oh, man. Some of you got in your position because man saw that you had some status and put you there. You want to point it back God because when you're pointing back on, you're going to use the gift for that. That's why they talk about these amazing offers. Come on now, talk about this. Come on, talk about this. Come on now, when they talk about, when they talk about, we ain't nothing to say a lot. I just looked at it right there. We ain't nothing to say a lot. But I'm telling you, when, when we start this ministry and Dick and Yee, and I understand, I come up with it. 
He went to tears. That's what you do after first ministry. He ripped him off, but I let him know the what was amazing. The ram in the bush. Because when Deacon Nee got busy with his family, I said, who's going to do this? The Peter, William, I don't care what time it is. I don't, I'm trying to show you how it works in the Bible. I, I, he don't want me to say, I don't care what time it is. What it is, I'll call away our technical. Yes, sir, I'll be there. Isn't that amazing? God always gets folks in the body to do what needs to be done. Chris Ward always shows up, leads the main guy, but Chris shows up ready to go texting me, you need anything, Pastor, before the service tomorrow. Isn't it amazing when you've been appointed? I'm trying to show you, when you've been appointed by God, you're looking for a person. Yeah. person being placed by man. Mm. And the last one. Uh, do you even know your, your given gift? By God. Do you even know what he gave you? Do you even know your gift? Do you even know your gift? You better know your gift. Because you get out there and start doing some stuff that I and guess what I've learned to do this question? I can't tell you your gift. Yeah. This is why I messed up too. See, we messed up. Listen to me. Look at the point back up. Some apostles, some teachers, the problem is if you're struggling, you got to ask another man. The chance of our luck has been hit by me. Hey, God, hey, I need nobody to tell me that I was a pastor. I need to tell nobody that I was a minister. I need to tell nobody when I was a deacon. Because even if pastor can say, whatever role you was in, you did it well. There's a more excellent way. Now, guess what the more excellent way is? It's God's way and not man's way. And too many times, I've kept me in God's way trying to do it my way. But he told me.